All right, you guys made it back to the homestead. I'm out running the fence lines, right? You got to come outside here on your homestead if you guys are going to live this lifestyle and we live off grid and we got this, you know, property. I got this stuff all fenced off and I got to check these fence lines in the woods, especially because um, these trees, you know, they have dead limbs and they'll fall down on stuff. I've had, you know, trees just fall over and take out parts of the fence. And then if you're not staying on top of your fencing and what's going on out here, maybe you turn your animals loose in a place where you didn't check it yet then you got a great big problem but today's topic of the video is like um you know medicine through your food right let food be your medicine we talked about that earlier uh, if you believe in the bible and stuff right god said that he gave us everything that's good for us and for our bodies and he gave us the seed that means the food that he gave us is going to produce seed so we will always have this continuous flow of medicinal food that takes care of our body right we have our spiritual food and then we have our physical food that we have to take in right and so that's what we're going to talk about today is letting food be your medicine instead of turning to big pharma all the time. You know, it used to be back in the old days, you know, Stacy and I live the 1800s lifestyle. You know, we live in a log cabin and we grow 90% of our own food and we live 100% off rainwater and we poop in buckets. You know, they didn't really have buckets, they used outhouses, but we found advantages in our system of using buckets and I'll probably hip you guys to that here coming up. Uh, but that's what we do. We're like the ungovernable, you know, and uh, we're having a fun time doing it but what I was getting at and about how back in the 1800s they had one doctor and that doctor actually worked on the animals and the people so they had one doctor for a whole town and uh, my funny joke is now that I say is now they have a whole town of doctors for one person <laughs> so they kind of flipped the script on us right so Stacy and I are here to help educate you guys on these natural ways that you can take care of yourself especially when we're getting into like the cold and weaponized flu season <laughs> all right all right so that's what we're going to do today and some of this what we're going to talk about today involves garlic right and I was talking to you guys earlier if you believe in the bible that the that God has given us everything that we need and he gives us the seed to produce the food over and over that will sustain our body right and man actually takes the 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 man actually goes in and tries to find out what he thinks is making it good and then turn it into a bunch of chemicals and then give it to you that's not what we want okay so we're going to show you this natural remedy here and you're going to like it. and i was thinking about the other time they only mentioned uh, garlic in the bible and there was one other time when the israelites were complaining remember they were complaining in the wilderness and they were they had their little list of things that they missed <laughs> and actually you know what garlic made the list all right so we're going to go in right now stacy's going to show you guys how you can take care of yourself this winter all naturally and help boost your immune immune system right that's what's going on your immune systems are down They've done that to you on purpose. They've engineered you now with low immune systems. We were there too, and we changed it all. And uh, then now they're going to take advantage of that. All right, so let's go see what Stacy's got to tell you guys. One of the things when I cook that I don't like to do as much is peeling garlic cloves. So this is probably the easiest way for you guys to peel your garlic. So I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Well today, I'm gonna make something to kind of go into Doug and I's arsenal that we keep here on our homestead. I've been doing this for many, 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 many years. And I always tell you guys, and this is my philosophy, that Doug and I, we are our own healthcare providers. Hypocrisy said, food, let food be your medicine. And so that's what we try to do. We try to put things into our body to help nourish us, to keep us healthy, keep us strong, and keep us to fight off disease. And garlic is one of those things that you're gonna use. 
When you look at garlic by itself, it has a compound in it called allicin. And the funny thing about allicin is Doug always says, that's our daughter-in-law. <laughs> but allicin is a compound that does help strengthen your immune system. And the other thing that I think is so fascinating about this compound allicin is it helps to um, kind of improve your white blood cells. And the white blood cells, if you guys don't know, you know, they're swimming around in your blood and there's the ones, and I'll make it really basic, that eat the germs. So let's say you have a virus or something, then the white blood cells are gonna get activated and really pumped up and the garlic's gonna help with that a little bit to do their job. So garlic is a powerful thing. It's been touted throughout history. Talking about garlic, it has so many things that it can help. I mean, it's crazy. I'm only gonna list a few, but one of them that's pretty awesome is it is a great heavy metal detoxifier. And in this day and age, there's lots of heavy metals in the air, from the sky, in our homes, just all around foods that we're eating. So that's a really good point to add garlic to your diet, as well as it's anti, an anti-aging. So we have a lot of oxidative stress, things that could damage our bodies, and this is something that could fight those free radicals and help with us to live longer. And who doesn't want to live longer, right? As well as helping to lower your blood pressure and your cholesterol. And there was also a 12-week study that was done and they found out that they did not get sick as often and when they got sick colds flus things like that the sickness wasn't as severe and it didn't last as long it was like cut in half so who needs a shot on that one moving on to step two voila raw honey now raw honey where do we get it from a bee right bee it's loaded in your B vitamins that we need. The human body needs them. We also have calcium and magnesium and potassium and zinc. I mean, it's loaded with the kitchen sink. It has everything in it. It's antimicrobial, antibacterial, wonderful. You guys have been following along for a while. We had a cat a few years ago that had its whole neck pretty much ripped off. And we thought he was gonna die. So what I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try to save him. So from things from the garden, I had some yarrow and calendula. I made a very strong, um, uh, like tea, and then I went ahead and kind of cleansed it. And then from there, I added the Manuka honey. And Manuka honey is a more medicinal, it's from New Zealand type of honey, and it healed it. So we are big believers in this stuff because we use it on ourselves, we use it on our animals and our livestock, and it has been very helpful for the, us. So here, I have some raw honey. Make sure that it is raw honey. You don't want it to be heated or pasteurized or anything, so it'll destroy all the beneficial, wonderful enzymes from it. And what we're gonna do is we're going to be making a honey fermented garlic. So I'm using a big jar, and I'm gonna pour my honey over the garlic cloves and cover it with probably about an inch or so. Let me stir it up. So I wanna make sure I'm blending this up very nicely so that I get all that honey mixed in so it covers the cloves. Honey and garlic together, like we're taking math class, equals this powerful, powerful team together. So they're gonna to work together. So what I'm gonna do now, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more honey because I want to make sure that my garlic cloves are going to be covered because we're going to ferment this. Lid, make sure it's a tight fitting lid. A flat in a ring is perfect. You're going to put your lid on it. So what's going to happen is you can see here that the garlic is on top. I'm going to ferment this and I don't want it to get moldy or anything. I want to make sure that that honey is covering the garlic. We are making honey fermented garlic. Now, when you look at honey, honey has a moisture content at about 18% or so. When you go higher than 18%, it's gonna start fermenting. I'm adding garlic to this, which has moisture in it. It's gonna make the moisture content go up in the honey and it's going to ferment. However, if you look at the garlic, it is above the honey and I want the honey to be covering it. So you have a job for a few days because we're gonna make this powerful thing that's gonna hopefully help you guys. And you're going to be Flipping it every day, okay, like this, so it's totally covered. So what I'm gonna do is I might flip it upside down, just like that. 
let it set for a little bit and then bring it back over here and let the honey just kind of move around. I'm going to do that daily. Now, as each day goes on, it's going to start to ferment. So it's going to build up a little pressure inside. So I'm going to gently turn this and you'll hear it go and it's going to release some of the gases that it's building up through the fermentation process. And it'll smell really good. It'll smell like garlic. And then you're going to do this for a week, maybe two. Generally for honey ferments, they're going to be pretty good for a couple weeks. And you're just going to do this up and down. And you'll notice as the days go on, as it goes to eight days or nine days, it's not going to be, you're not going to get as much pressure in there and it'll just be fine. And then after a few weeks, you're going to have this wonderful concoction that you guys can use because it's just food, right? When you're making this, I want you guys to think about being proactive before you need it. So this is something that's going to need to sit for a few weeks for it to start building up all its medicinal properties. Now this will be okay after, you know, you're going to let it set a couple weeks. If you wait about a month, it'll be pretty good. If you wait two months, it'll be better. If you wait three, four, five, six months, it's awesome because it's going to get that more medicinal benefit out of it. I have some, the longer you see it, don't freak out, it's going to get almost black. I have some that are quite a few years old that I still have and there is going to be darker and it's going to get much more liquidy because of the fermentation process. It's not going to be thick like this, like honey. All right, so don't be scared. Sometimes you'll even notice that the garlic, it may turn blue or green, but that's just the process of fermentation and that's what happens to garlic sometimes. It's okay, that'll go away if you do have that happen. So you're gonna just let this set somewhere. You don't have to put it in the refrigerator. You leave it out, you can put it in your pantry. I mean, it's amazing. The honey is gonna help preserve it. So once it's done, it's a couple weeks and you've turned it. And if you don't wanna turn it, you can use a knife and stir it up. That's up to you, that's fine. And then that way you can use it when you need it. So if you wanna just eat a piece of garlic, you can eat a piece of garlic. If you wanna use some of the honey to put on your salad dressing or drizzle over some meat or something, you can do it like that. Put it on a piece of toast. If you're feeling not very well, maybe you're run down or having um, not enough sleep. So this might be something you might wanna take, you know, take a piece of garlic in the morning at night. That's why if you were noticing earlier, I was cutting some of the bigger cloves in half because some cloves are bigger, some are smaller. So you can cut them into little bite-sized pieces. I know with our grandkids, I'll give them some if they're not feeling well, I'll put a little piece in some honey and then they can take a spoonful. And even the kids like it. So this is something that everybody can benefit from. I'm making one now. I always make a couple of these every season. So I'm gonna make another one too. So don't just have one because you may need more. Who knows, maybe you have your mom or dad or your grandma and grandpa or a friend who might need it too. I would always make two and then that way you'll always have it. It's something that's not gonna go bad. It'll last many years. You don't have to put it in refrigeration. Some people will ask me, well, what happens? I use up my, all my garlic and I still have a lot of the liquid. For me, I like to use that liquid and I'll go ahead and use that liquid and put it in my salad dressings. I make homemade salad dressing. Or you can drizzle over something I like to use the honey by itself. Some people may want to go ahead and add some garlic to the honey. You can do that. My, I don't like to do that quite as much. I always start a, a few new batches every year, and then I use up the garlic, and when it's all done, then I'll start over again. So you guys can do it however you want to do it, but that this stuff is just wonderful. So get on it. You want to make that perpetual honey garlic, and then you will have something in your arsenal to be your own health care provider. You got it how you can kick big farm out of your life and take care of yourself the way god intended we just showed you guys how you can make your cold and flu medicine just like the old man it goes way back thousands of years right even older than pioneers so you guys make that uh, little concoction there and use it well, i swear by it uh, we have friends that have been using it everybody swears by it all right hit that subscribe button on the way out thumbs up too man some good info and we'll see you guys on the next video <laughs>
It's a great addition to your coffee machine or your French press or just along with your favorite sweetener. You can find it at offgridwithdougandstacy.com along with our brand new tea infuser. Simple to use for easy steeping. Cheers! Thank you.